welcome to the next video guys hi um a little bit of news a little bit of an intro on this one um so we got some news about the house we had um a message from a lady who lives locally who basically told us that she was she lived next door she was born next door. She was born next door, in and fact. This was and her her sister. Yeah, and this was her grandmother's house. Yeah. And uh, she shared a little bit of history about the houses with us, uh, which is really nice. So it brings the sort of bit of life to the house now as well. She's also going to sort out some photos. She is. We're really good. And she'll be watching this video. So there's a reminder, Julie. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, and you're going to meet up with her, aren't you? Hopefully, yeah, next week. Yep. All right. So uh, when we get some more news, and if we manage to get some photos, Julie, uh, we'll share them with you on social media. So uh, okay, shall we? Shall we get cracking on with this video? Because I'm sure everybody wants to uh, listen to the video rather than listen to us waffle. Right. Okay. Let's get on with it. Catch you later. Bye. Hello, everyone. Again, back in the cottage. More work. So today, what we're going to do is show you, mentioned in the last video, we've got these insulation panels, really, really thick, really thick. Hang on, let's get a tape measure. I'll tell you how thick they are. Yeah, there we go. 120 mil they are. Okay, so, got these insulation panels. What we're going to do, we're going to cut them down and we're going to fit them into these gaps you might think well what's the point of that well we did this in um, our old house and in the living room when you shut the doors it was really toasty because it just stopped all the heat from going upstairs into the bedrooms we we didn't really want the heat so uh, that's what we're going to do so uh, I've just tried to cut one with a saw and it cuts really easy so let's uh, let's cut one down see what we can do with it not bad is it that is going to keep this room really toasty obviously not finished yet just showing you a glimpse of what we're doing we tidy these cables up here we're also going to run that across to the next uh, beam because the dining table is going to go here we want it we want the fitting that we're going to put in above the dining room table so yeah quite pleased with that that is going to keep it toasty Right, well, let's carry on. Slight change of plan today. So moving on from uh, the room downstairs, we've come to the small bedroom. And I'm going to block up these flues. And I've just started, you can see that, it's not very, very good light. I've just started to brick that up, just uh, jam some bricks in there. And I'm gonna uh, inject some concrete around there and I've just made it up downstairs I'll show you in a second and I'll just do a first layer of bricks on on each I think let them set and then we'll come back and put a second layer in right, let's take it downstairs okay so I've made myself up a nice creamy mix and the reason it's so creamy is I'll show you what I'm going to try and do two seconds okay, so I've taken apart this old tube pulled the bottom out and I'm going to try and inject the uh, concrete mortar into the brickwork just to try and get it in the back of the bricks which I won't be able to do with the trowel so we'll try and fill this up in a second see if we can do it yep there we go it's worked so right let's take it upstairs and see if we can uh, fill this brickwork back well, <laughs> it sort of started, it, it, the idea worked sort of thing, but it, uh, yeah, it didn't work. The, uh, the hole's just too small on the, um, on the gun, on the canister, um, for the grit of the sand and, yeah, stuff to come through. So 
It started, but we'll give up. I'm gonna have to get the trowel on it. What are you up to, Samantha? Putting some paint remover on. I've sanded it all down, and now I'm putting paint remover uh, just to see if there's any other loose bits. And then it can uh, be painted, hopefully, this week. Obviously, the outside of the windows can't be done till next year because of the weather. But you won't dry. This is the front bedroom, yeah? Yeah. So hopefully this will get off a bit more of the paint because it's uh, quite thick in places. Coming off well, isn't it, Sam? Yeah. Very good. This morning's job, I'm going to have a go at painting, emulsioning, <laughs> I always criticise Samantha for saying painting, um, emulsioning the ceiling. Now, it's not perfect, I've noticed we've still got, uh, if you can see it, there's small cracks there, but we'll give it one coat of emulsion and just see what it looks like. Um, see if we can get away with patch repairs. I'm pretty sure we can. Obviously we've done some repairs already. But still one or two more to do. But let's get a first coat on it, see what it's starting to look like, and then um, go from there. But before emulsion it, that first coat, I need to give it another, well not another, I need to give it a rub down all over, give it a good key with the uh, palm sander. I've got the old uh, heater keeping the room warm. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. Right, first coat going on to see what it will look like. We reckon it's going to take more than one, obviously, but this primer one, see how it goes. Good morning, it's Sunday morning. Come over the house to have a look how the ceiling is looking. And actually, obviously a little bit of work to do there. For a first coat, that's not bad at all. That is not bad, obviously needs uh, going over. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but there's a problem. Let's spin you around. Yeah, I think you can see that on the on the video. Clear difference in colour between that and that. It's actually worse on this camera looking at what I can see on this camera than it is in real life, but you can definitely see a difference in colour. And actually, I think that was there before, but that also now you can see continues from that staining there. So to me, I am 100% gonna say that there is a leak somewhere uh, by that roof. This is the bedroom um, that's coming down by the chimney. Now, I know from looking outside um, that there is nothing there for that to leak from other than the chimney where it goes through the roof. Um, in fact, I'm just going to just pause the video and just go outside and show you two seconds. And there we go. So we're at the front of the house and that wall is there. So the only thing that it can be leaking, the roof's in good condition there, is that chimney. So where that chimney connects to the roof, there must be a leak there. All the tiles there, zoom in, yeah all the tiles are in good condition so it's either that ridge or where that flashing is. There's something there I think that's causing a leak and I'm going to have to get into the loft to have a good look at that. Okay right back inside now. 
So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have to get the ladders over, I think, from storage. Um, and get in the loft. And have a good look, see where that, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Uh, where that leak is coming through because there's definitely a leak there. It's definitely a leak coming through onto that ceiling. Uh, and for the moment, I think uh, just for today, just to help things along, I'm just going to put that fan heater on in this room just to try and dry things out. But clearly it's not going to dry because it's just going to get wet again. But uh, just to try and dry it out a little bit. Right. Right. <laughs> Up in the loft, one of the lofts, to uh, whew, check out where this leak's coming from in that bedroom. First things first, that tank doesn't look too bad actually. That looks like a nice newish plastic one. In fact, the water's nice and clean as well, so that's really good. Happy with that. I'll see if I can check, see if there's a date on that, but uh, that doesn't look old at all. Okay, woodwork looks good. Right, I'm just gonna pause the video a minute so I can climb in and find out where that chimney breast is. It must be over there somewhere. Right. Right, <laughs> so, woo, climbing over, that's the chimney breast there. So I need to get over and see if there's any wet over this point there. So I've got to climb over all this lot here, so bear with me. Blimey, I'm out of breath. Too old for this game. <laughs> so, the telltale signs. There we go. Some black look coming down. So this will be the, the uh, what do you call it? The pitch of the roof, you know, the top of the roof. And just there, it's black. So this is where the uh, where the flashing is on the chimney, and in fact, this wall, whilst I wouldn't say it's wet, it's not dry. It's definitely damp, and that looks like signs of damp there, where it's black, and also this insulation here. Again, it's not wet, but it's definitely got moisture in it. So I'm going to say for sure that either the flashing's leaking or the, uh, the ridge tiles, that's it, I'm trying to think of the term, the ridge tiles are leaking on the top. I'm, and I'm going to go for the ridge tiles, I think. Having said that, ow, there's nothing up there, look. There's nothing. There's no wet on that board, which sort of rules out the ridge tiles actually. So it's either the end ridge tile or the flashing. But the flashing looks fairly new. Right, pause the video, let me have a deeper look. Now at that end, so that's the front of the house, that's bone dry. Here, that looks damp and feels damp. feels damp all the way down to there so I am definitely gonna say that the water has been coming down there so either the flashing I'm gonna put my camera up there and see if we see anything yeah definitely the end ridge tile or the flashing's leaking right let's get back downstairs uh, that was that was a uh, well, that was tough going. <laughs> oh, I have, no, I've never been in such a difficult loft. Uh, okay, so um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to get on the roof um, when I get the big ladders over, or we we'll get someone else to have a look at that. I'm not. I'm not sure. I need to have a. I need to review that. I, I think it's pretty high out there, so I might get someone else to do that. Or I pulled all the uh, insulation back to let it breathe. So, anyway, I'll leave that job for today. Uh, next job is we're just going to pull the um, fireplace marble off downstairs, and I think that will be a wrap for this weekend. Okay, so 
Next task, what we're going to do, get this marble out. I think we might try and get this hearth out as well. Um, get this off, this plinth or whatever it's called. Because the plan is we're going to put a log burner in here. So this is the living room. And uh, can't wait for that. Right, so let's get this off. Somebody told you to, what did they tell you, Sam? He, he reckons it's just glued or just to get a saw at the back of it to saw down the glue. Okay, that's how I go then. Right, we tried the saw. Oh, that's it. Didn't it's just come off. Didn't work. So John's that's, got a crowbar. That's just come off. And he reckons it's, it's come off. Oh, it's come yeah, off with a crowbar. That was <laughs> that was a lot simpler than we thought it was going that's to be. Using the saw. Yeah. You must have loosened it with a saw. <laughs> There's nothing old in it, Sam. You joking? You know, there's hardly any glue on it. I'll turn it round and you can sh show them, will you? Okay. It's, it's, it's heavy there. though. Be careful. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three dabs of glue on it. That's no, one, one, two, three, four, five, S and then a few around the edges. And then bits there. Yeah. Not many at all. Let's right, get that out. Okay. Oh. Right, now the bottom bit. Oh, this one's broke. That's easy enough. Yeah. It's a shame it's broken. It was a nice piece of marble. That come out really easy. Let's see if he can lift the other piece up just as easy. I bet it's loose. Yay! Yeah. All right, now let's take the middle bit out. What is it? Is it? It's not metal, is it? I don't know. Is it cast iron? I don't think so. I think you're going to have to take it's some of the plasterboard like around. It. Is it like the brick? Like the fire brick? Yeah, it's some kind of... Uh... I think you might have to take some of the... What? Plasterboard, plasterboard. around the outside. And then we might be able to see so. the opening. It's a bit hard yeah. to get out, having to use a crowbar, but it's coming. Oh my god, look at that. That is not very tidy behind there. Any rough brickwork? Yeah, definitely rough brickwork. That's all going to have to be sorted. I think that's a wrap tonight, Sam, do you think? Yeah, it's hard work. I think you need that to... It is hard work, isn't it? I think you need to buy them, um, whatever they're called to take the bricks out. Yeah, so we're, we're going to buy a, an impact... Uh, Impact driver. It's not an impact driver. I'm not sure what they call them. It's a bit like, an impact hammer thing. Impact hammer. It's got like a chisel on the end of it. We'll uh, whack them all out. Nice line up here. Somewhere here. Same the other side. And then we'll measure it. Go to the showroom where they're selling these log burners, yeah? Yeah. Show them what dimensions we've got. Tell them what the room size is. And see what they've got, yeah? Yeah. And then... And I don't know if I'll brick it, or whether they'll brick it as part of the job. Yeah, we'll have to find out we'll, that. We'll, we'll figure that we'll out. We'll have to find in it as some do you in, installs, log burners, and see what they suggest. So, call that a wrap. Call that a wrap. <laughs> so, Definitely. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Give us a comment. Tell us what you think so far. And uh, give us a subscribe if you haven't already done so. Take care, everyone. Bye.